Greetings Internet, this is Nynark and welcome back to my tutorial series on making a Zelda-like in Construct 2. Today we're going to be going over tile sets and uh, more specifically we're going to be going over a program called Tiled that uh, will help us make some cool tile sets with less effort than you imagine it might be. So uh, yeah, so let's get started. If you go to mapeditor.org or just type in Tiled into Google you end up here. Uh, and then you can just download the app. It's called Tiled. You can go to their itch page, download now. It says $9, but you can say no thanks. But I would uh, suggest tossing them a couple bucks because this uh, application is actually really cool. All right, so as soon as you have that, you can open up Tiled, and uh, it'll look like this. Now, nothing is here, obviously, because that's how programs work. Um, if you go to my itch page, um, my itch page, uh, I have uploaded a new tile set that is free for now, um, and it's just basically this, um, or it's literally this. Uh, so once you download that, we can get started in Tiled. So the first thing you want to do is actually go down, uh, or sorry, up here to this little star new thing. Um, make sure you leave everything orthogonal, CSV, uh, render order is right down, just like how it is in Construct. Um, the tile size, uh, in my case, it's going to be 32 by 32. Uh, you might have a different tile set if you've made your own, so make sure you uh, adjust that accordingly, and your map size can be whatever. Um, so let's just leave it at 50-50 for now. Cool. So still nothing, really. Um, over here you have some properties. You can change everything that we just talked about except for the width of the uh, actual map editor for some reason. Over here is layers, and down in the bottom right is where tile sets are going to go. So uh, right, or sorry, uh, regular click on this new icon right here, let's name this Soldox. Soldox, and leave that there, and we can browse for our tile set, in my case it's here, and we'll make sure the tile set is, is correct there as well. Um, in some, maybe if you've downloaded a tile set from the internet, your margin, there might be a space in between the top left and where your tiles actually start, so that's your margin, and sometimes the tiles might have a couple pixels in between them, so you want to adjust this accordingly. In my case, it's zero and zero. Cool. So now I have a tile set, and it kind of works the way you think. You select a tile, and you can draw with it, and you can very meticulously put together your map as such. However, there is a much cooler way to do this. So click on this eraser tool to erase, obviously, and uh, go down to tile sets and not to terrains. That's where we're going to be ending up in a second. But right here, there's like a little image. It's kind of like a map icon. Click on that, and this will get us our terrain information uh, box right here. So let's create a new one and let's call it um, let's call it dirt. So we're going to select the edges of the dirt. So if you see. Um, this little half circle comes up, or quarter circle rather. We want the edge of the dirt to to place this tile. So when it's this is the corner, it's going to be making it. So if we just select here and drag around, and then make sure we get this middle tile, that's going to see. Okay, so the edges of a dirt of the dirt are going to look like this. Now we also want to have the inside edges as well. So that's why I have this here, and we're going to select around. Now it it's sort of uh, a little bit confusing. Um, which side you should do it. So for me, I still end up doing the wrong side every time I do something because I don't remember anything. But anyway, so now let's go to our terrains and we can click on our dirt and you can see that we can draw our dirt however we want and it automatically tiles everything accordingly. And if you hold down a command on Mac or control on Windows, you can make it a little bit smaller so it's not quite as big of a block. And then there's also a cool feature if you go to Erase Terrain over here, click on this button. It looks kind of strange. You think it would erase your terrain. It doesn't actually erase your actual terrain. It's a, it's a tool itself. So you can go in here and erase some of your tile set and it will adjust it accordingly. Now there are a couple little discrepancies over here. We don't have a tile that goes like this with one pixel. Um, so you can, uh, you're going to have to fill that in accordingly. So in that case, you might... do this. There you go. Um, and over here as well you would do this. And this is how this tile set is set up. Um, but for the most part it kind of sets everything up uh, really nicely. So you can also, uh, obviously there's a paint can tool up here and let's paint everything green on the outside. Now it looks really kind of annoying because it's tiling this grass over and over again. So there's something cool we can do. We can select all these grass tiles over here. Make sure you reselect the stamp brush tool 
and if you click on this random button right here uh, that I already had on for some reason, um, you can draw random tiles over your existing tiles, excuse me. And you can see it gives it a little bit more character and not quite as static and uh, um, words as other words might be the answer to that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so as you can see, you can grab these and fix it up so that it doesn't look so bad. Um, cool. So that's going to be um, basically what we're going to be using this for. So um, I'm going to make a real quick uh, map real quick and, and we're going to go into doing a little bit more with this. So just for right now, we're going to be using the terrains tool and, and I'm not going to really do anything else. I'm just going to kind of whatever um, for now. But obviously, if you want to go in and change everything, you can. Uh, so but I just want to show you how this works. So we're going to save this. Um, and we're going to save this file as Zoldox tiles. Make sure it's a TMX file. Um, you can save it as other files, but you want it to be the, the TMX. And let's drop that in there. Replace it because I already had one. Uh, now let's go back to Construct 2 and uh, actually get this working. So uh, before we do anything, let's create, let's actually rename our layer 0 to main. And we'll make a new layer. And we're going to call this background or BG. Now, uh, we're going to be putting our tile set on this layer, but there's going to be a problem. On our main tile, if you look up here to the layer properties, there's a transparent no. And this is because it will allow us to change this background color to whatever we want. Um, but we don't want that. We want it to be transparent so you can see through it to the background layer. So you're going to go up here to transparent and press yes. And that's going to make the background transparent with, with nothing on it, um, which is what we want. So let's go to our background and change the transparent to no. And then uh, let's right click and insert a new object. And we're not going to go to nine patch, which is something that's really cool too. Not tile background, but tile map. And we're going to select, it doesn't matter where you click, just as long as it's, make sure it's on your background layer. So cl click and select, and it will open up this image. This is going to be the tile set that is being used. Now we won't, we can ignore that for right now, actually, because we're going to be opening up our TMX file. And you'll see, if we go over here, and go down to where you're, you saved your tile set. If you double click on it, you want to replace the image. And not only is it going to replace your image up here um, for what the tiles are, it'll also actually generate your tile set um, the way that it was set up in your program. And you can interact with this just like you would uh, a regular tile set. Um, you can add, this is locked, you can add new tiles and it works exactly the same as it did in tiled. So if there's something that you messed up, um, you can easily change that and, and fix it um, however you would like, just like uh, how you would. Now, um, we're gonna do like a little, one more thing just to show you how also this works. Um, let's make a new layer up here and call it uh, objects or object, I guess, in this case. Um, and we're going to place some objects around. Now, I have a tree. You can select these, um, both of these, like, th like so, if I could do it. Um, turn off the random button, and you can place tiles. Uh, our tree only has half. If you look at this tree, you'll see that actually uh, there's a little bit of a tree behind it, and that's so you can, you can add a new tree uh, as well. Oops. What am I doing? Uh, this and X this. So as you can see, I can't do anything properly. Um, but you can select multiple tiles and place them. You can press X, it will rotate it on its X axis, axis and Y if you want to change. Um, can I speak today? Can we start over? I don't want to start over. <laughs> um, anyway, you get the idea. Anyway, so uh, so what we're gonna do actually on this objects layer is um, not use this objects. This is gonna this is a little bit different. This is more advanced, and we're not gonna bother with it really. Um, go to the eraser. We're gonna erase this tree, um, and we're gonna play some things that you won't interact with during your game. So this these rocks, these little trees, the big trees, um, and not that mostly just these rocks and stuff. Um, now, the reason we're not going to be using our plant is because we're, we're going to interact with that uh, later, like how in the Zelda games when you break a, a little plant, it leaves a little thing like that. We are going to make those objects in the game, 
this is just going to be objects that you will never and cannot go through and I'll show you what happens in a second so let's save this again and go back to construct now make sure you have it on a new layer make sure all your objects impassable objects you want on another layer actually let's do one more thing too um, I'm gonna mess this up but let's make a new terrain and we'll call this mountains mountains or hills or whatever um, and let's see let me make let's see if we do this right all right I'm gonna try this way I always forget I have already forgotten again please work correctly okay cool I did it right cool so let's um you can hold control and draw a little extra over here um, do some mountains over here. So these are going to be impassable again. Um, so, oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. So yeah, you can do this. Um, you can erase terrain, so you can add little blocks inside. And I've done something strange, I think. I have something strange selected. Or do I? Oh, no? Yeah, I don't know why it's drawing out there. Maybe I'll just replace it with these. Um, and yeah, okay, cool. So this is everything that we need just for uh, an example. So let's save that again, and we go into construct again. Now I want to make another layer above the background layer. So let's change this to uh, impassable. Drop it down, make sure it's below main, and we want uh, transparent to be yes, everything is the same. So let's make a new um, Oops, don't do that. Make sure you lock your background layer just for the sake of this and change back uh, to our main pointer like this. And then go to our impassable. Let's right click, insert a new object. Let's create a new tile map, not tile background, tile map. Click and we can go over here and open our TMX file again. Now it's going to ask us if we want to replace the objects, which we do. And we want to choose which tile layer we use. So we're going to go to object and double click and select and you'll see that we have now a layer that has all of these above it and our background below it. Now something cool that we're going to do, um, let's see, I think our new tile map might be this one. So I think these are, I think these are correct. Okay, so on our tile map 2, which I assume is our second tile map because it's the second one, if you go up here to behaviors, and make it solid. It will take all our tiles that are on our impassable layer and it will make them impassable. So let's see as we can play this real quick. You can see we move around and the rock is impassable. Um, this is impassable and a lot of this it's farther away because we haven't really edited our player's hitbox yet but um, as you can see you can set this up really fast and really quickly and um, make your game cool and stuff um, let me see is there is there more um, there's obviously more advanced stuff you can do with this um, however for now I think this kind of is a good start uh, to start making your maps a little bit easier to uh, manage and not have to use our the, the tile object by itself um, so yeah um, that's basically it I hope you guys learned a lot sorry for being gone for so long uh, this week has been a lot of stuff going on and actually the next couple months will probably be action-packed as well just because of the holidays so I'll try to put out as many videos as I can but uh, anyway I hope you guys learned a lot and I'll see you in the next video